Good afternoon. Hello, hello. Welcome to another episode of Sips and Swirls with the Curly Girls. Thanksgiving is next week. Are you ready? Uh, maybe a little bit. Yeah, like a little bit. I a have little my bit. List. Yeah, yeah. So I'm Anne Marie. You guys know what I do. I do private wine tastings and after hours corporate events. I help people learn about wine with all this, without all the stuffy intimidation. I do this by going into people's homes and doing private wine tastings. Here is my gal pal Gina. Hi, Gina Mitchak, the uh, your favorite custom baker at From Gina's Kitchen, um, bringing the homemade goodness from my kitchen to yours and taking the stress out of your desserts because. because Stressed is dessert spelled backwards. And today we're going to talk a fun little bonus dessert, yeah. I guess you could say. You've got your menu plan. You pretty much so know who's rolling into town. You know you're having turkey or if you're anti-turkey and anti-whatever. Um, you want something else like ham. Hey, um, but you, you're thinking now that you've been scrolling through like Pinterest. Like, I want to have one of those cool like play-setting cards. So... Insert well, Gina solution. To you your might problem. not have time to make it. I can show you how to make yes. it. Or you can have the kids or the kids at heart mm -hmm. sitting at the table making it for you. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to show a cute little cornucopia. Place look at that. It's so setting. cute. Oh. Uh, if you watched us over the summer, yeah. you saw that I did an ice cream cone cupcake. Yeah. Uh, baked the cake inside this cone. It's like a tablespoon of batter went in there. That's it. And I did the same for this little cornucopia. So it's a, it's going to be a cornucopia of sweetness because there's a cake at the bottom of that. Okay. There's going to be frosting. We've got some sweets, some salty. We've got some marshmallows. So I will be putting all of this together while Anne Marie talks about wine pairings for our Thanksgiving desserts. Uh, so I will let awesome. you take over. So I've got two wines with me. One of them is our series Symphony. So Symphony is actually the name of the grape. There's like, I don't know, there's like 10,000 different grape varietals out there. This one is Symphony. Um, it's lightly sweet. So are we pairing this with dinner? No. This is going to be paired with, I don't know, if you're watching the kids make the cornucopia and you want to like nibble on some of their candy, I would have the Symphony with it because it's like a little bit, it's like kind of like a slightly sweet. So grapefruit, orange blossom, kind of a gardenia thing going on. So um, I'd have it chilled and I don't know, pop a little candy or two in your mouth. Um, it's just a nice, light and refreshing. If I was pairing this with my Thanksgiving dessert, um, pumpkin pie, something that's not overly sweet. Um, so that is our series Symphony. And then I got one more with me. This is so cute. Panache Lane Bodacious. Look, little dog has a little clown nose. So cute. Um, Panache Lane Bodacious. This is a blend, also slightly sweet, so I would might chill this a little bit. Again, not having this with your Thanksgiving dinner, you're gonna pour yourself a glass of this as your kids are making themselves oh, yeah. a little cornucopia, or you're gonna pair it with your Thanksgiving dessert because it is a little sweet. So I'll chill this a little bit. Um, it's got a blend of like Cab Sop, Petit Fredot, Syrah, that type of thing. Um, so pour yourself a splash of this and then eat off of the kids' cornucopia. I mean, whatever, they're gonna mess up your kitchen. You might as well have a glass of wine while you do it. So um, anyways, those are my wines. There's more wines and, and food in store. Gina, you put that together so quickly. Uh, I mean, well, really, it's not rocket science. So it's you want so the kids, cute. You want the kids to have fun with it. Anyone can have fun with it. Um, Ashley, I don't know if you could tell. So I stuffed it chock full. We've got the cake at the bottom. I put. So the frosting is the glue. Yeah, the frosting is the glue. Oreo buttercream, which of course you need Oreo buttercream. In it's so good and good for you. And yeah, it's, and it's. The best, like it, okay, this so pairs very glue. well with chocolate cake, which is at the bottom of this cornucopia. Okay. Then I used it as glue. Oh, Here, I'll she show does sprinkles. You. I'll do a little demo. She does it like the edge with frosting. I did it on the edge and then. And then sprinkle up. sprinkle it like there. Okay, but you can tell. Down then, below, it's all sprinkles. So I have my fall sprinkles. I've got pretzels, I've got candy pumpkins, I've got candy corn, I've got fruit snacks, chocolate popcorn, caramel popcorn, uh, what else All do I have All kinds of there? yummy, yeah. sweet and salty, &Ms. whatever you have. So yeah. That's awesome. Just whatever you have on hand that's snacky. Um, and whatever it's loose, just do another layer of frosting. Exactly. That's fantastic. Uh, white chocolate chips you can add, you can add dark chocolate chips. Awesome. So, whatever they 
stuff they have or exactly. stuff they can go get. Uh, just do a mixture of whatever makes your family happy. That's awesome. And if you want to get really crazy, put some frosting in a Ziploc baggie, snick the tip off, and you can put an initial on the side of it. Now if you're getting you crazy. If you really want to get crazy, you can put your whole name on the side all of right. it and frosting. Gina, but they're going to drink the, the entire idea. bottle if they have to do all that. All right. Well, then we're not <laughs> So just keep it simple. That's so cute. Keep I love cute. it. Um, and yeah, so this is, I think this is my thing now. It's, uh, I love the if you can put it in a sugar cone, I will make it. So come back That's at Christmas awesome. time to see what I do with a sugar cone, I guess. Awesome. Gina, thank you. That was awesome. So if you guys thought Gina's edible place card holder and wine pairing lessons, if this was helpful for you, just like our Facebook business pages. And I'm at, uh, from Gina's kitchen on Facebook. And Amory's VIP wine cellar. And we also have a tiny little Instagram account. Yes. Sips and Swirls. So, Sips and Swirls. And uh, we also have a YouTube channel. Yes. So you can subscribe to that. And what we do is upload all these videos so you can go back and watch yes. and see what you missed in case you missed the very first one back in July. Uh, and um, yeah, I think. Cheers. I yeah. I think I feel pretty good. Yeah. We've got Take a little bit of fun. Cornucopia and my glass of wine. There you go. Cheers. All right. Happy Thanksgiving, but you'll see us next week. But thanks, meantime, guys. Bye. Bye.